Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to this energy reading for the week of August 8th, 2022. This is a general reading without clarifications. Feel free to take the messages that resonate and leave behind whatever does not. So either which way, I'm hoping that you are doing well and feeling fabulous. So Capricorn, we start out by checking your overall vibe for the week. You are stepping out of the energy of Venus Beloved. You are stepping into the energy of retrograde review and ascendant entrance is what you will learn from this transition. So You've been in a, a place where you you recognize um, how you want love in your life, a sense of tenderness, uh, a sense of needing to, you know, open your heart, be vulnerable, and to come from a place of love, especially if you are someone who is looking for love or even if you're in a relationship and wanting to, um, you know, continue that loving relationship, uh, a recognition that um, you have to first uh, cherish yourself before you can, um, you know, really expect or assume that someone will uh, feel that way towards you. And so you're stepping into this retrograde review period, a sense of reflection. Um, it could be for those in relationships, out of relationships, but just in general, kind of taking time to reflect on um, what you've learned about yourself, about others, and... Um, in this transition, you'll learn more about how um, you see the world and how you operate within it. Um, perhaps certain assumptions that you had, uh, perhaps certain beliefs um, are starting to become more apparent to you or will start to be more apparent to you. And You'll learn how you really want to um, kind of be known, how you want others to see you, and um, how to kind of even reveal aspects to yourself that maybe you either downplayed or weren't aware of uh, certain characteristics or tendencies. So uh, it's really a time for you to kind of uh, find out more about yourself and what you want to um, accomplish. So let's find out more of your week with the tarot cards. What messages are there for Capricorn? So I'm going to take these because they want to come out. You have Nine of Swords, the Chariot, and the Hierophant. So a sense of worry, um, possibly in uh, relationship to this um, transition, kind of learning about tendencies that you had. Uh, perhaps there are, you have a tendency to kind of um, take on a lot of stress if there is, uh, like unknowns, perhaps you tend to kind of have a pessimistic view of things. Um, but basically you're going to start, um, kind of understanding how to set up new traditions, new habits that are more in line with what you want for your future and um, 
what you kind of want to accomplish in your your life. So um, that can be anything from like, um, you know, setting up habits, like if you have a nightmare, uh, writing down your, well, just in general, writing down your dreams in a dream journal, um, recognizing that uh, there's certain, you know, when you start stressing and, and worrying about things, um, what is it you can control, what is it you can't control, and just kind of, you know, get rid of the things that you can't control, and what can you do? You know, what are your options with the things you, you can control? Um, or even looking at the probabilities of something happening. Looking at it from a more, like, a kind of realistic point of view. But to some degree, there might be a need to kind of look at whether or not the habits that you had for yourself in the past have led to some type of stress and anxiety and see how you might need to change some of those things. So let's look at the energy of your environment. Who surrounds Capricorn? Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. So there may be people in your family, people at work, people at school, um, some type of colleagues where they are providing you support. They give you, they help you kind of with whatever it is that you need if you ask. Um, but also there's, you know, people who, this could be one person in particular, um, or it could be you know, multiple people, um, but someone who is kind of maybe even feeds into your sense of worries and fears if they have a, a limiting um, uh, mindset, they have ne negative thinking. It may be that to some degree, um, it could be just you know, someone in your family, someone that uh, is helping you kind of prepare for something. Let's say, um, let's say you have a test coming up or a job interview. Someone who's helping you preparing for those things um, may also kind of themselves be have like uh, limiting beliefs and you know kind of have you feed, you're feeding off of that, it seems. But let's look at how the energies between you two resonate. You have the five of swords, you have the four of wands, and you have the nine of wands. So here it may be someone at, in your home, um, someone that you live with, it could be a significant other, um, someone that you would normally celebrate uh, milestones together with. Um, but also there is a sense that um, maybe one or both of you are kind of always prepared for things to go badly. Um, and also, you know, to some degree, needing to know when to walk away from a lose-lose situation. Um, so how things are being communicated um, to yourself, uh, to each other, whether by words or by actions or inactions, um, it is something for you to kind of consider with respect to the assumptions you have about the world, um, how you kind of operate within it, how you want to, how you want to operate within your world, and kind of, um, 
kind of recognizing that there are different aspects of yourself that you are still learning, but um, it could be that there is a period of reflection going on here. So we're going to close off the reading by pulling an oracle card to see Capricorn, what should you know for when emotions get stirred by the full moon in Aquarius, which occurs on August 11th, August 12th, depending on where you are in the world. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So here, uh, if you've been kind of stubborn about a situation, um, kind of being strict about um, what you're doing, be it a task or a relationship, um, it looks like if emotions get stirred, it is uh, going to at least have some type of resolution that comes about. So I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective of the week. To get more information, check out readings for each of your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.